When I entered the tournament, I can see what is due next, which is match three, due on September 8th. Right now I'm going to practice match six. I've done match six before and got 50 out of 60 points. That's a B, and that's due on September 29th, and I'm going to try it again right now. Match six has three sections, note reading, phrase beats, and scale degrees. For note reading, I have to enter in the correct note, and I have one minute to enter in 12 notes correctly. And I can keep going, or I can stop any time and redo it. If I run out of time, here's the timer here, the test will stop. I can redo it at any time to get maximum points. I have 15 out of 20. I'm going to stop here and go on to phrase beats. In phrase beats, I'm going to calculate how many beats are shown. I get two points for each correct answer and subtract two points for incorrect answers. Here I have four meters, four, four, four beats per measure, so I know I have four beats to the bar line. Here's a fifth and a quarter. The answer is five and one quarter. I type that in and hit submit, and I get two points and it advances to the next problem. Here I have four beats, here's six, seven and a half. Now if I don't put in the right answer, let's say I just put in seven, and I hit submit, it will show me my answer turns red, and it will show me the correct answer here. Also, it will write in the counts. At any point, I can use the counts. I can type them in myself and use that to help me calculate. Here's the count writer, and I can write them in. One, two, three, four, and starting over here, one, E, and a, two, E, and a, and three. So that can tell me, okay, I have four here, here's another one, here's another one, and I have this, but this is not a complete beat. So here's four, five, six, and this is three quarters of a beat. The answer is six and three quarters. And I type that in and click Submit. I have two points now for phrase beats. And I'm going to go on to scale degrees. For scale degrees, I'm going to notate the scale degree in a key in a particular clef. Again, I get two points for a correct answer and subtracted two points for incorrect answers. I'll enter a note and click the right accidental leading tone in D major in the bass clef. The leading tone is C sharp. And when it's correct, it advances to the next problem. Median of the A major scale in the treble clef. Median is the third. I click on C, but C is sharp in A major. So I click the sharp sign. The submedian of the D flat major scale in the bass, in the treble clef. So the submedian is the sixth scale degree, and that's B, but in D flat major, that's B flat. Now let's say I didn't choose B flat, but I chose B sharp, and I click submit. It shows me the correct answer, and notice there are three possible B flats in the treble clef that I could have entered, and they all would have been accepted as correct. Now I'm going to go back to phrase beats and continue where I left off. My count will continue on from two points. Here I have four beats, five, six, and three fourths. And now I have 21 points out of 60. It's time for lunch. I'm going to stop. I hit save and 21 out of 60 is saved. However, it's not higher than my previous score, which was 
50. So my 50 out of 60 is retained. I can see it on my grades page in more detail. And in match 6, I still have the 50 out of 60. I am not ranked for speed because I did not get maximum points. However, my correct number of problems is continuing to add up. When the tournament closes on September 29th, I will find out if I have I have a ranking and then get any extra credit points assigned.